everyone, this is Jonathan Morgia again with Call Tracking Metrics, here for another edition of our updates and release notes video series. Uh, today's video, we're going to cover a couple different topics ranging from some new updated integrations uh, with Unbounce and Google Lead Forms, as well as a couple other hot topic items with our mobile app um, and some other settings that we'll talk about as well too. Uh, so before we get started, I did want to invite you to sign up for our second annual Launchpad Summit event being hosted November 3rd, 4th, and 5th this year. So last year we had a fabulous turnout in our inaugural event. Um, we had some great topics and discussions with some leaders in our business and all across our industry. Uh, but get ready for three awesome days and over 14 virtual sessions all designed to help you grow your business serve your customers, and get more out of call tracking metrics. Visit our website to sign up, and we look to talk to you soon. All right, our first update that we're going to talk about today is a few new things that we've added to our iOS mobile app functionality. Uh, first addition that we put on here is allowing our agents to choose a specific number from your tracking numbers pool to make an outbound dial. Uh, so instead of calling for the same number for every agent, you can go ahead and select which number they'd like to dial from calling their customers. Uh, it's a very useful feature that folks would use depending on the advertisement that the original customer might have called in. Uh, this is something that was already capable on our soft phone uh, via the desktop, uh, desktop app anyways. So it's great that we now have this uh, natural evolution included into the mobile feature. Um, this feature is only available when the user does not have an assigned number to that profile. So keep that in mind. All right, our second update for our mobile app is we've also beefed up the experience for the agent while they're actually in the call log itself. This enhancement gives the mobile app agent the ability to answer uh, calls that are actually on hold and answer calls in the activity log itself. Up next is our product coach, Jess. She is going to talk about our Google Leads Form integration. We are excited to announce our Google Lead Form Ad Extension integration, which is a seamless way to bring your lead forms into CTM alongside your other activities, like calls, chats, texts, and other form reactors. Through the integration, CTM has the ability to capture attribution data and add the activity to the list, inbound smart routers, text, and outbound smart dialers. CTM can then send the form and attribution data automatically to CRMs with the use of triggers. In addition, triggers can be used to automatically score or apply a tag to a form submission. All right, next is a really awesome integration that we have, Adobe Commerce powered by Magento. So we've successfully updated our integration with Magento 1. Uh, we've had that integration for the past few years and now we've updated to work with Magento 2. Uh, using call tracking metrics um, with Magento allows you to associate previous call, text, and form activities with a particular sale or order that you've placed and inserted inside Magento. So our platform will then automatically fire a look back trigger searching for prior activities in call tracking metrics within a defined date and then tie those conversions back to that sale. When your CTM account is connected to Google Ads, Microsoft Advertising, or Google Analytics, this new sale and conversion data will also be shared back to your ads platform, providing additional visibility on the revenue that resulted from those offline activities. The Adobe Commerce Magento integration is available through our marketing and contact center plans only. All right, our next announcement, we have amplified our current Unbounce integration by implementing an update using our automation tool called Triggers. So this update will allow clients to send back the variant data collected in call tracking metrics for conversion tracking purposes into your Unbounce account. You will need to access your API keys from your Unbounce account into call tracking metrics. Linking those two up will unlock the trigger capability and then we can fire over some of that information matching those fields between call tracking metrics and Unbounce. This integration and update is available on our marketing and contact center plans only. All right, we're gonna wrap up today with a couple more updates that we have for you. Uh, the first one is the availability of some 212 area code numbers, uh, area code to Manhattan, New York. Uh, these are currently available while supplies last. 
Um, they are $99 each for one of those numbers, very similar to our true 800 numbers, few and far between. Um, go ahead and contact your account manager or submit a ticket request right through your call tracking metrics account under the buy numbers tab. You can go ahead and order a specific number right there to specify it's 212. All right, and our last update here is with our API keys, more of a housekeeping friendly reminder for you all. Uh, call tracking metrics is always committed to protecting and maintaining the security of the information in your account, which is why we advise our clients to update their API keys regularly. We recommend that the API keys are updated every six months, if not sooner. To update those, uh, go to your agency settings and follow these instructions. As always, thank you all very much for tuning in to another edition of our release notes video here with Call Tracking Metrics. Again, I'm your host, Jonathan Morjo. We appreciate your business as always, and we'll talk to you all soon. Thank you.